That's why they say it's lonely at the top. What I feel though, I feel like people are scaring themselves. Be lonely at the top. Sorry. It's a, it's a lot of people that, see, we don't vet people effectively. It's a lot of people that's going to love you no matter what, bro. They don't care if, the, if you broke. They don't care if you got money, man. Money is just a tool. I don't care about going broke with people that I love because we can always get some more money. We can figure that shit out. But you never get back the moments, man. When you when it's all said and done, you don't really get an opportunity. Like nobody gives when you're on your deathbed, you don't give a fuck about no money, bro. Like if you if you think about the people that have died or the people that have passed away, you don't remember how much money they had. The only thing you remember is how they treated you in your relationship. The people they helped. Yeah, and so money is just a tool. We value that shit so much. It's just a tool. It's something that makes it easier or give us more access, but it's not supposed to be the thing that we worship. You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure that we look out for each other and we hold down the people that's loyal to us. And it don't always mean that we not that you're not going to have problems or people not going to do stuff against you. But I think that it more or less makes it makes sense to figure out who it is that you're willing to work with long term. I just I just I don't know, man. I just I'm loyal and I rock with people and I don't switch up on people. And you know, I'm all for people that was there for me the whole time. And I, and if I got it, the first thing that I do when I get a check every single time, and you can ask anybody that's ever been with me, first thing I do when I get a check is I bust it down with everybody else. That's it. Before I pay myself, I bust it down with all of my friends. And so you know, we figured out. We just figured that shit out. Everything else we can figure out. And Anton, and, and what you were saying. Type of question. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I just um don't like how this question is often framed around how you know most black women are. This is all they're looking for. They're trying to use these men, and I, I know Anton had made a you know pushback that it's more so the Caucasian women, but in general, I think this idea ideal that is so calculated from all from most women's perspectives is just. It's just not the case. I think more relationships get together organically. And um, I think a lot of people are more afraid of being taken advantage of. So they're doing all these things to not be taken advantage of. And they're not going out here and living and actually trying to figure it out. Like Quinn was saying earlier, like, I feel like a lot of guys who are like, oh, I'm not going to, you know, be dealing with these people after I get to a certain space. I don't want to be taken advantage of. I feel like they might have had maybe two or three, if that many, of women in their direct life who literally tried to take advantage of their money. Like, if it's never really happened to you, like, more than three times where women only were with you just because of your money, it's, it seems really crazy to just paint that as a general for most women. And now you're, you're giving up or you're no longer pursuing dating because you're like, well, I got to make sure that this person is not going to, you know, I feel like you just, you, 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 these what ifs are scaring you from actually living life and going out actually trying to find somebody that you can connect with and, and build a relationship with. And then they're going to show you who they are down the line, but you just already write it off. And, you can't and afford, you can't that afford that. For black can't, women. You it's, can't it's, afford it's for weird. somebody to show you her. You can't afford for somebody to show you You're shooting you yourself in your foot because you're you not even afford, trying. You get to a certain level. You can't afford for people to show you who they are down fine. You got yeah, too no, much. You, 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 it's wow. way you can do it. As you get, uh, as, you, as you grow, you you to to yourself so you're not spending your money from the gate. Like, why are you trying to spend all this money to impress her on the first day? You don't even know this woman. Like, maybe if you get to know I her for mean. three weeks on the phone and get to talk to her, then you that's not spending any money, but you're actually getting to know this person you can learn in that time before you trigger, even trigger, meet. trigger. If you know what I got, money, with the date, if, and you don't if, even know her last name, that's on you. If you know, you know I have money, you know on the dinner because you know, of that, like if you, know, know, this if you know that I have money, you are willing to play the role much longer. That's an assumption. No, that's, that's an assumption, true. and there's ways you can go around about that through conversations, through a wise conversation, through in depth. Conversation to, 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 yeah, so, speaking, you're speaking, you're speaking, you're speaking, from, you're speaking from your perspective. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're speaking from not everybody thinks the way that you think. You get me? 
Like he, it, what Anton is saying is, is so you're it, already it, assuming they think negatively and they're just trying to use you. And I'm telling you, most women want marriage. Once most women want connection. That's why you got these women who are leaving marriages after 20, 30 years because they feel like the, the husband does not appreciate them. It's more than just using you for your money. And sometimes that money's gonna get old and you're gonna get bored if y'all don't have no type of actual connection. It's not about the right. money. At the but end, it's right. all about communication. Right. Women might be online screaming that. But at the end of the day, they want real connection, and 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 that comes from friendship. That comes from connecting on things that has nothing to do with money. At the I, end of the day, I don't That's need I don't need connection. I need trust. Most women is oh, are they just gonna use me? I don't need I don't need connection. I need trust. Trust to me is number one. If I can't if I can't trust you, like it's done. And trust is and trust is easy. I could I as as you grow in business, you learn how to read people. Okay, and you know, you know, you know the right questions to ask, and so you know. But for me, number one, trust. I got to be able to trust you, because if I can't, if I can't, can't trust you, I can't run with you. Because uh-huh. you already like thinking negatively of most women from the get go. It's not that I'm thinking negative. I'm just. I'm, I'm, it's not that I'm thinking negative. I'm just skeptical because I've seen so much. Well, that's skept- yeah. that skepticism is keeping you thinking. Well, no, no, it's 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 keeping me protected. Oh, yeah. It's keeping me protected. Protected it's, and single. It's discernment. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's not at all. Like it's it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a scenario. It's a scenario where it's a scenario where the, the, the way to not lose out and still pursue. But you're just, you most a lot of guys are just not pursuing anymore because they're trying to protect themselves because they think all these women are out for them. Who don't even have money like that who feel like that and it's crazy but trigger, why don't you want to pursue that if the men are pursuing you pursue you know 80 percent of you know, that's, you know, oh, that's yeah you could be shooting her so i'll give it that. i'll give it that. I'll give it that. I, I don't know where y'all going but in real life i mean if you just go out like people are talking to people like men are talking to women women are talking to men and that's just you're there it's not about nobody's pursuing like i'm not I'm married, but if I'm going out, I'm not going out and saying, oh, I'm not going to talk to that girl because I'm afraid that she may take me for all my money. Like, no, I know know how to bet, right? So if I'm talking to you, just based on how you're talking and how you move and what you say, I know what you're about. So, like, I I don't, it doesn't take me long to figure that out. Like, just like the way, like, if I'm going out somewhere and if you're trying to make me save money, like, oh, I want to go to a steakhouse. Why do you want to go to a steakhouse? Why don't we just go here? I'm going to mark that down. Oh, she's trying to save me money. Even though I want to go there, she don't want to go there. I'm going to note that down. You know what I'm saying? Like, Or if you just let me spend on whatever. Oh, why don't we take this trip? Oh, why don't we take this? All right, cool. She, she's for, she's encouraging that. I'm going to note that down. Like, you know, like, I think I heard Anton say before, you know who's for the streets and who ain't, right? Like, you can, at this point, like, yeah, you may get fooled by a woman who's trying to deceive you, but, like, for the most part, you can tell who, if a chick is really about, like, like if she's like genuine or if she just like is in it for the thrill like i think at this point at our age we can figure that out so yeah, it's not just do the same life. thing sorry go ahead so, we can do the same thing yeah so you can you can go out like yeah like a, a, if you're a woman you go out you know if a dude like you could probably you could probably tell off rip if he's like if he's about whatever he says he is or if he's just trying to like sleep with you like yeah. or really about something like i think like after a couple of conversations all right i see what this dude's about all right i'm gonna put him in this box and I'm gonna move on. You know, like I think I think at this point we kind of already do that. So like to have the repetitive conversations, like I don't think anybody's scared to talk to anybody as far as that. Now when it comes to marriage, that's a completely different thing because people will date all day. Like you will date somebody for five years. Like but when we talk about marriage, that's a different step. Right. Like now, all right, cool. If I marry this person, now I gotta worry about all right, hitching my assets to her. Will this happen? Will that happen? Like, that's when you really start doing that. When we talk about the boyfriend and girlfriend or the talking stage, you're not even worried about any of that stuff because at the end of the day, she can't get anything. You can just break up with her the next day and you're done. You're gone. You cut your ties, your losses, you're, you're out of it. You know, so, I mean, we're, we're, we're really only talking about the marriage portion where we start talking about getting taken advantage of. She's taking all my money. Oh, I make X amount of thousands of dollars a year. Do I want to, like, risk it, blah, blah, blah. That's only on the marriage side that we're talking about. But it's the thing, like you said, like why why stay in these relationships for like five, ten years? Who is the person that's doing that? Who do we expect as a society to ask for marriage? But the men. And the men because they are scared, because they are trying to move with whatever, they are they will even be in a relationship with a woman and be so disgusted. It's about knowing what you want. 
finish. Let me just finish that they are withholding marriage for years and years and years and years until like they just feel like, oh well, might as well now we got three kids. You know, we've been together for fifteen years. What's going on now? now she's definitely not going. You know, do nothing. Like it's crazy that the the untrustworthy that you're just like unwilling to give because of what other people are saying. And from you want to know why people, people aren't getting married? Like every person as what they have shown you as what you build to know with each different person. Everybody is so different. If you think of all the successful relationships that you know about, you know they each got together in a different way. There is no formula that's going to work. You have to understand that every single person is different and you cannot take other people's experiences to make you write off other people. You have to get to know this person before you know you can just write them off. 